In a bull riding competition, normally it's man against beast, but here at this year's national finals, it's been the beast battering the buckaroos, Hadley. As we take a look to Sam Patus in the first round of competition, he shows up as the rookie, but he looks like a champion. Wins the big round with an 85-point score. What an attitude this kid has. Donnie Gay is going to ride his first one, and that's his bid for the comeback in eight, maybe eight times in a row. Let's look at number two now. Round two and Joe Wimberley. Here's the cowboy from Westville, Florida that's won so much money right here in the last 90 days, and he wins this round with an 81 ride. Charlie Sampson and Ted Moose, well, we stuck them both in the ground, and they're the only two guys that can catch Donnie Gay. Charlie Sampson, in the third round of competition, finally gets one road, and does he do it right? 86 points to win this round. In the fourth round, Ted News of Manteca, California, the number three bull rider for the world, takes the round with an 88-point ride. He and Charlie finally have got their act together, and they're making a comeback. Lane Frost wins second with an 82. You know, there's only one other man. If he rides this round, we've got 12 guys bucked off. This may be the rankest pin of bulls we've ever seen at the NFR. They call him the 18. In the fifth round, it's the reigning world champion from Red Cliff, Alberta, Cody Snyder. Last year's champion takes the round with an 84-point ride. Let's go now. Len McIlvain hung up some great clown action right here, getting him out to that score. In the sixth round, it is seven-time world champion Donnie Gay. He wins his first round this week. Ties with Cody Snyder, both mark an 81 and take an equal introduction. In the seventh round, Oklahoma's own Lane Frost. This cowboy has shown his stuff tonight and an 82-point ride to win the round. Mighty tired towards the eighth round. Charlie Sampson hanging on and showing us what he's made out of at the end of the race. An 82-point ride to win first. Donnie Gay, 69 points. The ride we're not concerned with because all he did was hang and rattle on the side of one, but that holds him in that average. As we go into the 10th round of competition, it's going to be Donnie Gay's show tonight. However, what we're looking at is a tough pen of bulls again. We bucked off 11 out of one round, 12 out of another. This is a suicide race for Donnie Gay's eighth world title and everybody else just to try to win a round. What a rodeo, what a race, what a way to begin this competition. Alright everybody, we're sitting down on the first humpback loose skin fella and beast of the afternoon. It's about to get western right here in the Myriad as we welcome you to our 10th and final round of the 1984 National Finals. This young man is a resist all rookie of the year, putting his hand in the rope. You see the loose braided rope of the handhold. Sam Patus the Jude in California. Now this will be the same motions that all of our top 15 will go through today. As they pull the tail of that rope very tight, he will adjust his hand and tell him when to quit. Lay the tail back to the open hand. Tuck the tail of the rope around behind his fist. They run him back to the hand, back between the fingers. Sam Patus has an EC hunt rule they call Rocky Mountain. An eight-second ride with a knot required to spur the bull out. You don't have to spur him at all. However, the motion of the feet that you're going to see and hear about makes all the difference of what the rest of the body is going to do. One free hand in the air for a full eight seconds. Keep that black hat down on top of your head if you can. From Southern California in his first year, look at everything blow out of here. And we've got the rookie on the ground at the end of ten rounds. First one out goes to the favor of the bull. of injuries, so you'll not be seeing him right, but he's up and around and all right. Body Ryan Flan rams up in the Harvey North Cut Strike. All right, come on, come on, come on, right. No, oh, that will set him up. Hung him up in the road about the same situation we saw in his last bullet in 1983. There is a hard luck cowboy. He has had tough luck at the 84 National Finals Rodeo. Too bad, Ronnie. Oh. Take one more look at it. You want to see the power that these bulls will throw at you? We are in a zip situation so far with no score. 
this ball. I don't know what the officials say. The right hand came down sharp there. I don't know if he disqualified him. He did. He did. It's no score. Take a look right here. His wife is looking on. All right, on oh, kid. Come on, Lacey. 30-year-old bull rider from Texas. She cheered him off. Everybody's going to Pretty wife up there while he was riding. Oh, look at him. Look at him spur that bull with an outside foot. I mean, he's reaching and jabbing him, trying to make him cough. What a phenomenal job you've just seen done. Chuck Heaton getting on the bull that has been voted as the third best bull at the national finals. Now, the Shane Cowboy here knows how to ride, but he does have his hands full. Big Brindle Bull taking that final lap, and the tail across his hands. The tightness of this rope will vary, but it uh, all depends on the rider on how well he likes to ride a rope tight, if he likes to ride it loose. Takes that tail down through the little finger, which uh, looks pretty tough to get the hand out, especially if you buck off away from the hand, but it also helps the rider to hang on to that rope. Trying to get the bull standing properly, nods his head, tough hit him. Going to have to lift on that rope. Big bull waller, nut kicking too good. Now he's getting into a little pretty good consistent spin here. Tough having a little trouble with his inside foot. Hanging on the end of his arm out there and does make the whistle. Now that was a pretty nice little bull ride right there. Here's a guy that's about to say I do in the next 90 days. Beautiful lady, there she is, Miss Sissy Hard Ride, Bobby Ride, New York. Come on, stay with him. 88 gets Del Vecchio. It's now two for the bull in Del Vecchio. Not bad. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, oh gone. Gone. Oh, yeah. gone. 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 Hold that mackerel there. That young man has been battered and beat all week long. He's from Oklahoma, Lane Frost, and the uh, audience shows their appreciation for his great spirit. Oh, man. Look at that right foot coming out of him. That may have cost him. No, he got it right back in there. Now it looks like he's in good control of the bull. I don't know. It just couldn't weather the storm. There is a mighty sore body on a fine young man. We're going to put him in the 80s. and right where he wanted to be. 80 points even. Third highest mark time in this 10th round. As you're watching the final preparations being made right now, this is Joe Wimberley, Westville, Florida, originally from Frisco City, Alabama. Wimberley is second in the average. He's won only $9,600. He's about the third highest money winner, but he's got a shot at doing it here today if he can ride this bull. Wimberley has the move called Pat from Jim Sutton, and goodbye, Joey. Threw him out of there like a dirty shirt. Slammed up to the ground, and it's all over. This is Cody Snyder, the reigning champ of the world in bull riding. Canadian Cowboy, 007 Red Rock of the John Growney string. Drawn for him. Now he bucked off Charlie Sampson in the fourth go round. The bull is unridden in four years. Come on, Cody, break that record. Come on, Cody. Oh, no, Cody. One punch, just the second time up. He looked down, found his body off on the left-hand side. There are two of the greatest seven-time world champion, Jim Shoulders, and as of right now to the left of the screen, the master of bull riding, Dolly Gay. Right, this is the little guy from Mesquite, Texas, Glenn Mastodane. Oh, Bill has 105, fucking third of the year. Oh, You're never going to see 
victory to the Bell Hall string. Glenn McElveen has just completed something that there would, there would probably be thousands of men give their opportunity. It's phenomenal. Born to ride and born to be a gold buckle cowboy. This is Ted Noose. He came in in third place in the race for the world's championship. Lives at Manteca, California. All right, now Teddy has had a little tough luck here. He's bucked down in several of the bulls he's been on. But he's come up with a couple of real important wins. Come on, Ted, they're on your side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie Brown, he's trying him. Neil Gay's got another good one under him. But California, you're looking for the world-class cowboy in the next few years. It'll be a world champion. There he is, little Teddy Duke. He's had the ups and downs of this final. But he proves out to be still one of the five best of the 1984 season. Watch the power and the motions of this bull. Here as he kind of eases back over, backs up a jump, and that's where they'll get a lot of Set him up over the rope. Didn't bother Teddy a bit. This man has on his mind to ride this rank bull. This is Charlie Sampson. He's on the bull cow town of Benny Butler string. A bull ridden only one time this year. Kind of bad to pull you down over the front end. Charlie will have that on his mind. Who comes out the back door? Uh -oh. In behind Toad Cook's foe. He says, boys, get him out of here. Leon Coffey and Miles Hare, they're going to lead him away. Boy, that is a rank, rank bull. I'm just glad to see him get away out the back door and not catch a grill in the teeth right there. Charlie's had his face rearranged twice, and he's an awful good-looking boy. Good night, Charles. Good night. Here's the bull that bucked off Lonnie Wyatt for the championship last year. And Donnie Gay, the man that has him. 814, Sonny Spellman of the Mike Survey String. Now Donnie at age 31 has his eighth world title and a rodeo record already won. He liked to ride this bull. What a way to cap off the season. This, my friends, is an extremely ranked bull. He'll stand right on his nose, right out of that gate. And along with that, Joe Hansen is out. Joe Wimberly is out of the Average Donnie Gay coming in here at fourth has got a shot to win a whole bunch of money. This is the ball, and he's going to get Donnie Gay like he's got the rest of them. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, the new world champions can't run away. Don't worry about it. He is still known as the master. But the little man that he has taught how to ride, how to live, and how to rodeo, Glenn McElvain today with that 91 score, shows the days of Donnie Gay and his eight world titles, and there are new Donnie Gay Cowboys coming this way. This has been an exceptional bull riding with all the... Donnie, you bucked off your last bull at the finals, but you wanted to win the championship this year. Congratulations, partner, you did it. What do you have to say to the world? Uh, I just, I don't know, man. It's, I feel good. I, right now, I'm, I'm disgusted because that last bull bucked me off. I, I've been thrown off of him once before. And he's the one that tore my knee up in 1980, and I felt like I owed him one. And I, I was going at him, but he just got, he got me again there in square now, so I can't really cuss the bull. But as far as that world title, everybody's asked me, you know, how much different is it from your first one to your last one? And I said, well, I think this one is going to last longer than the, any of the other ones. Jim Shoulders, the all-time great, won the bull riding seven times. You'd won it seven times. This is your eighth. Are you going for number nine? No. Thank you, Donnie Gay. Well, unless it's awful easy. Ladies and gentlemen, as he wins the round on Dell Hall's 105 for 91 points in the 10th round. It is the highlight of the national finals. Second to Wasey Cathy. Top headman of El Paso at third. Ted News from California splits fourth with Oklahoma's Lane Frost. That is a bull riding. And, and ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching one of the greatest rodeos of all time.